Hello everyone, Crypto Explorer here. Welcome back on the channel. I hope you're doing great as always. And as always, let's talk DeFi. Today I want to talk to you about Wolf Capital. Let's see how the project has been going for the past six weeks since launch. Now here the age on Monarch, it states two months, but it's six weeks because the project launched in February 16th around that time. Uh, give it or take one day. And um, it has been running for that long. Uh, here and there you will see, if you check out on Moonark their, their TVL fluctuation, you will see these dips in the chart. This is when the team uh, takes some funds from the, from the TVL to invest into the trading strategy. That's where the revenue is coming from to pay users. Uh, we are not yet at 100% away from uh, Ponzinomics, but we will get there. A um, couple of weeks ago there was an AMA that i assisted and uh, someone asked doria how far away was the protocol from achieving fully um, no ponzinomics and he he said it, it was not a set in stone number but roughly around 70 percent from being definitely away from ponzinomics being feeding um, only outside sources of revenue to pay investors and uh, it's, a, it's a process guys that's why we need to to support the project and see that this is a marathon not a sprint i think the 50 50 strategy is a very responsible one because no one is gonna take funds here and run for to the bahamas with them all right um and also a very cool looking thing in the chart and this is, is something that i have noticed since since the first week organic growth most projects usually they have a huge pump in the first few days in the first week even then it tanks or starts to fall with he with the wolf capital that is nothing um th that is not not the thing that we have been assisting uh, we can even look at here the the last three weeks chart for the tvl so the tvl was at all almost 100k in march 8th um, the, the team took some funds to invest into the portfolio to do the trades, right? Then the TVL was, was very stable in between 60 and 80k. Uh, there was like this pump to the 95k, uh, then another dip. And from, from there on, this was for the last week for the most part, investors just coming in to the protocol. And once again, organic growth, that's what everyone likes to see on their investments uh, be it in DeFi, whenever organics always the way to go because it's more stable basically it's it's more safe and this also plays a game when it comes to to the people who who think okay let's see what happens after 60 days that could be a concern in my opinion because 60 days it's when the lock period comes to an end right for all the stakes that were made on the first day but since the growth has been organic well it's very different because the impact will not be as much as compared with the project that pumps on the first day then tanks right or starts to drop right ahead um in in that case if it would reach the 60 day period with that same pattern it would be in trouble with wolf capital that's not something that we have been uh looking for or that we have been experiencing for of course so let's take a look at the the last week's roundup of the realized profit their trades results plus thirty five thousand dollars usdc which are, mean a growth of almost 10 percent 9.34 percent portfolio value growth so the portfolio now is worth um four hundred and fifteen thousand dollars very important growth of course the growth has been consistent for all the weeks this was not the top week um, i've seen others which had more growth in portfolio value but as long as we keep looking at this being green it, that's the way to go that's what uh, the road to that's the path to take in order to fully move away from the ponzinomics right and uh, let's take a look also also actually let me show you the marketing wallet being put to work with real world advertisement bringing people's awareness uh, and maybe even people who are not aware of crypto so this is on las vegas nevada and take a look at what says the um, the billboard no gamble just growth so you see what the pun they did here 
with being Las Vegas, the capital of gambling, right? So no gamble, just growth, 2% today with Wolf Capital, wolfcapital.app. Um, really, really smart move when it comes to marketing in the real world because marketing in DeFi, we are already showing the product to a niche, right? Not everyone in DeFi is aware of Wolf Capital, but there's a lot more people who don't know what crypto is. They are not aware of crypto, of DeFi. There's a lot more of those people in the world than people on DeFi that do not know about Wolf Capital. So this is a very smart uh, marketing move. Also, SpaceX headquarters, yes, the company of Elon Musk, and a roadside billboard, Wolf of DeFi Street, wolfcapital.app, yield 2% daily on your USDC. Once again, strategic location with the Elon Musk's name, of course, being associated with it because the SpaceX headquarters are in the background and a roadside billboard here. Actually, both of these must not be cheap, but marketing wallet being put to, to a use, being innovative. And like I already said, guys, it's very important that people from outside of DeFi are brought into DeFi, and especially in this case into Wolf Capital, because that's fresh people, fresh investors, right? So very good to see that uh, this uh, strategy is being put into place. And for the last part of the video, what I want to talk to you about is the impact of teams here on Wolf Capital. Like I already said, the organic growth doesn't make me to expect anything out of the ordinary when the 60 day period um, of the of the stakes come to an end. So growth period means people coming in very, very consistently over time uh, instead of the that big pump on day one, right? That would be eager just to, to withdraw their stake. Even if the people who got in on day one on stake, they are not the majority of the people, all right? They will not make the, the TVL crumble and also a little information from one of the a of, of the past week's AMAs. Um, there has been no need to inject funds into the, the protocol yet because, well, the, the growth has been consistent, organic. So only only the, 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 the coming in of new investors itself has been enabling for the payout to be handed to the people who invested in the past. So protocol is still growing. And even if you have to consider the case that um, the number one team, DeFi Snipers Wolfpack, I'm, I'm part of them and I know that they are committed to applying the 50-50 strategy. Once again, this is a marathon, not a sprint. Applying that strategy allows the contract also to survive. We are taking care of our bags when we are doing that. And also, Crypto Labs research on YouTube, I'm not sure how they are playing the game. Um, but I, I'm pretty sure that by the the two months period coming to an end, many people who got in on day one will already be cl very close to ROI, if not ROI at all. Let me give you my own example. By joining different snipers Wolfpack on day one, uh, in the middle of the first week, I was already getting around, uh, or not around, I was already getting 2% a day. So if I would be withdrawing consistently at every cycle, what I would be getting back would be uh, at the end of those 60 days, 120% back. So my initial plus 20% on top of it, I would be able to already had earned that. So I would be already playing with house money. I'm not, or I will not be because I'm doing the 50-50 strategy. I want this to be for the long run, not a sprint once again. And um, this was the team who grew the fastest. So e even Crypto Labs research, they didn't take much longer to get to those 2%, uh, one week longer maybe. But even the people who, who were here on Crypto Labs research, even if they're not committing to the 50-50 for the most part, uh, they are or they will be very close to ROI, if not ROI, at the end of their first 60 day period. At that point, what would someone who, who would be already playing with house money think? At least I know I would not be in a hurry to unstake. I would just let it roll. And also Tim Scott, the investor, uh, they, I for the most part, I watch his videos here and there. So I think they might be also 
um, looking forward to support the project and not, and not just look at it as a Ponzi where ju they just need to ROI the fastest, unstake and move on to the next. Uh, so for the most part, I'm just focusing on these three teams because all of them put together, they make a huge, huge amount of the total investments, vol investments volume. I would say around 80% of that, at least. I'm just eyeballing it. Um, and also the, the fact that the Wolf Capital, they, they came up with this very cleverly designed um, Wolf Packs mentality, right? It makes people think more as a community instead of playing the game in a more selfish way, not caring about the others, just trying to, to withdraw whenever they can. And the, the Wolf Pack mentality was, was just brought in with that in mind, I'm sure. It was very well designed and put into place also. Everyone gets a bonus. If you use a referral, everyone wins. So basically, you're missing out if you don't use a referral and you should only not use one if you want to start your own wolf pack. That would be essentially the only plausible reason for you not to use a wolf pack because you would be missing out if you didn't otherwise, right? And uh, also there's definitely many other DeFi protocols that are themselves invested in here in Wolf Capital, but for the most part, the three main teams are from three big YouTubers. And uh, also think about this, many projects in the past fell because they were not, they had not the best design when it comes to, to having a referral system. They, they, were, they relied a lot in referral bonus that ended up being the downfall of many projects because they paid a lot of bonus to YouTubers included because everyone has those 10%, right? And YouTubers being having a, a greater audience, they can also themselves be greedy and then just just have a huge, huge negative impact on TVL if they do not support the project and, and if they keep on taking all of those funds from the shilling of their own links, right? And that's that's just a reality. That Wolf Capital's team was able to to just turn around and it made that sort of um, threat into an opportunity and and it turned that into three huge teams with three huge youtube channels leading those teams and bringing a lot of funds into this protocol guys i'm pretty bullish about wolf capital also today there's going to be amas released on youtube with james pelton a huge channel yabonks another big channel more eyes will be brought to know about wolf capital and before i wrap this one up let me just tell you when i started just gathering information for the video there were 883 users right now in in this short time span like half an hour or so um five users joined in i'm pretty sure we're gonna see the 1k users mark being met during this month of april especially because of the marketing i already showed you during the video and also the ama is being released today so expect bullish news for wolf capital at least that's why I'm hoping for the project. And also, I'm going to show you here my stakes just so that you, you know what I'm doing with it. I'm doing for the most part the 50 50 strategy. You can see I stake this amount in multiple times, three stakes. I, took, I withdrew so far 99 USDC. I will keep on growing my position here um, because I don't see this going nowhere. And in worst case scenario, I know the team has also the the possibility to just halt withdrawals until um, everything is under control. I'm comfortable with that. If you're not, probably Wolf Capital is not your project. But that being said, this is DeFi. I'm just here to share information, share my thoughts about the project, my my insights, and here here we are, guys. Thank you for watching. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. This this if it gave you some some sort of value and subscribe for more of this type of uh, projects of course i'll be uh, making sure i'll bring you the ones that are the hottest and the most promising ones as always thank you for watching i'm gonna wrap this one up take care stay safe and i'll see you on the next one